I'm Ruby Timblin, Mrs. Timblin. I was a nurse at Hampton uh, for about, oh, about 34 years. I graduated in 1950. Now that makes me very old now. <laughs> but uh, at that time, that was the year that they had the worst polio epidemic they had ever had in the United States. At the time, they thought only children got polio, and it turned out that there were many adults that did too. University of Pittsburgh uh, were asked to develop a, uh, find someone to work on developing a polio vaccine because we had such a terrible, terrible epidemic then. Polio is a very, very small, infinitely small virus. The virus is uh, passed on to people through uh, the mouth and knows. At the time, we weren't real sure how it was passed on from one person to the other. So I was a, a when I was a child, I had a distant cousin who had had polio, and so she was paralyzed, and I couldn't understand why she never could walk. I had to be carried everywhere, and uh, her legs were paralyzed. March of Dimes was a big charity and at that time, even when I was a child, I remember taking dimes to school for collections for the March of Dimes for polio because our president at the time, President Roosevelt, who had polio, he had been a very wealthy young man, newly married, starting uh, with his family and all, and living in New York. And suddenly one day he couldn't stand, he couldn't walk. He, it came on very suddenly. Dr. Salk came to Municipal Hospital, I believe in 1949. By 1952, he felt that he had developed the right vaccine and he actually va vaccinated his, himself, his wife, and his three boys. When he did all that, everyone felt, well, he has to be certain he's got the right vaccine. There had been vaccines developed before, and they weren't right. He spent most of his time and many, many, many extra hours at his laboratory. The laboratory was in the basement of the municipal hospital in Oakland. It's a hospital, there was a hospital for contagious diseases. He stayed in Pittsburgh for some years and uh, insisted on helping to uh, start out clinics. And of course, a lot of the helpers were people who were involved with charities such as March of Dime. Many of them were uh, treated with what they called a Sister Kenny treatment. That was a controversial treatment. Uh, Sister Kenny was a nun who had uh, been working in Australia with polio. But now you know why you're getting so many vaccinations. We've eliminated smallpox, so you don't need that vaccination anymore. Uh, the polio, I'm sure that every one of you school nurses make sure that everyone has all the vaccinations they need for measles, mumps, rubella, uh, and uh, polio, and there are a couple others nowadays too. Today it, it means so much to me that uh, to see healthy children and not be worrying about some of the one things that can be prevented.